Hello, welcome to Industry Reactions. Industry Reactions is a weekly briefing on industry events, changes, and future trends that impact your business. We're your hosts, Jeff Martin and Mark Friedel from Chempoint. You can find Industry Reactions on Apple Podcasts, YouTube, LinkedIn, and, uh, and all your podcast providers. For those watching on YouTube, make sure to hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and smash that like button. We plan on discussing issues that impact the global industry and help you uncover new opportunities. We hope we will provide market intelligence that will keep you ahead of changing conditions. All right, and our first story this week is uh, March results for the broader industry. U.S. specialty chemical market volumes increased over 3% in March, partly offsetting the pretty significant declines in February, which were almost as uh, almost 5% decline. This is according to the American Chemistry Council. The drop in February was due to the impact of the winter storms, as we all know. Some 24 of the 28 specialties subsectors tracked by ACC posted volume increases in March. Of the 28 specialty chemical segments monitored, 24 expanded in March with 19 segments featuring gains of 1% or more. Well, that's pretty great news. Uh, the industry really seems to be bouncing back from COVID and from all those winter storms. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great sign of uh, things to come. And then, and more good news, I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, uh, the, the first major chemical earnings announcement of 2021 is out, and it looks like it's going to be a good sign for the industry. Uh, profits at the largest U.S. chemical maker, Dow, surged in the first quarter, and the company predicts a bright outlook for the remainder of the year as the economy continues to recover from the pandemic. Dow sales were up 22% compared with the first quarter of 2020, when the economy was be only beginning to feel the effects of COVID. Earnings, um, excluding extraordinary items, rose 133%. And this is all in addition to their also, they said their um, supply chain issues and inventories are super low. So they expect to be running full out for the rest of the year. Yeah, that is great news. In fact, we're hosting a, a webinar next week on pricing. And one of the uh, key points that we're making is that uh, chemical companies such as Dow are expecting to have a bit of a b financial boon to their business in the early part of 2021. Um, a lot of this due to some of the um, their abilities to improve margins and pricing. And uh, I guess this is the, you know, the first company to prove it. That's great to hear. Uh, according to data released by the Association of American Railroads for the week ending uh, April 17th, uh, chemical rail car traffic in North America uh, again went up, uh, this time 8.6% year over year on continued strength in the U.S. For the year to date, chemical rail car traffic in North America is down 1.2% from 2020 and down 0.6% from 2019. However, if you think about those numbers, it was basically came to a standstill in late February, early March. So to be only down 1.2% so far this year is actually a pretty significant rebound. Yeah, these zero year numbers are hard to read with all the uh, externalities that are involved over the past couple of years. No doubt. All right. All right, on to new product introductions and company announcements. Uh, once resistant to carbon reduction initiatives, ExxonMobil has unveiled a plan to build one of the world's largest projects for carbon capture and storage along the Houston Ship Canal, Texas. Likened by some to be the equivalent of dialysis for the planet, uh, carbon capture se sequestration involves stripping CO2 from the industrial plant emissions or from the air and storing in a secure underground location to prevent the gas from contributing to global warming. The proposed project would cost $100 billion and would capture and store 100 million metric tons of CO2 per year. The emissions saved would be equivalent to removing one in every 12 cars off the road, the company says. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, ExxonMobil was late to the game when it came to green initiatives and sustainability, but they're really doing a pretty strong push lately. And the analogy to um, uh, dialysis is a good analogy. Yeah, just trying to clean up the uh, system. That's an clean interesting way to put it. <laughs> Solve and Origin Materials announced today that they will collaborate to use Origin Materials technology platform 
to develop advanced materials for the automotive industry from renewable raw materials. Salva has also entered into a multi-year capacity reservation agreement for material from origin materials. The advanced auto automotive materials include a drop and ready specialty polyamide, a polymer that is extraordinarily stiff, tough and resistant to heat, corrosion and high voltage for use in automotive engine applications. The companies believe these materials will be critical to reach the full potential of automotive decarbonization and achieve the zero carbon car. Well, that's pretty interesting. Origin Materials has been doing a lot of interesting things with, um, I know they were working with uh, Nestle looking for a zero emission bottle for a while as well before this. So. Yeah, and Solve just continues to be in the news of doing a lot of cool cutting edge things. All right, uh, speaking of cool cutting edge things, ZX Ventures, AB InBev's Global Investment and Innovation Group has established an R&D partnership with Clara Foods, a specialist in animal-free protein production to unlock the possibilities of precision fermentation at large scale. The partnership intends to explore the development of sustainable animal-free egg protein brewed on a large scale. Uh, BioBrew is a technology platform venture in ZX Ventures that is exploring opportunities to apply large-scale fermentation and downstream processing expertise beyond beer. Anheuser-Busch, they bring great things to us. I'm going to say that reading that there has made me thirsty for a beer here maybe when we're done. <laughs> it's almost happy hour. Next up, Innovative Chemical Products announced it agreed to acquire Choice Adhesives with the intent to close in mid-May. Choice Adhesives has long brought innovative adhesive product technology to the market and has maintained strong relationships with their customers for decades. This is according to the ICP Group President and CEO, Doug Matzchek. With the addition of Choice Adhesives to the ICP BSG family, we'll be enhancing our position in the roofing adhesive market to better serve our professional customers. And I say they're really kind of building out the entire product line around um, industrial applications uh, for adhesives. Uh, it's a pretty interesting acquisition there. Uh, next up, PPG announced that it has acquired, excuse my pronunciation here, Cetalon Lacfabrock, a manufacturer of coatings for automotive and light truck wheel applications. Financial details of the transaction were not disclosed. Setleon develops and manufactures a wide range of coating systems for the wheel industry, including certain proprietary technologies. It operates production and sales offices in Germany, from which it serves many leading wheel suppliers worldwide. Founded in 1948 in Stuttgart, Setleon became part of the Burlack Group in 2011. The company employs approximately 100 people globally. It's exciting stuff. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Industry Reactions. We will return next week with a fresh batch of Industry Reactions. Until then, stay safe. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>